check out what Edgar Belenga had to say about Canelo Alvarez. He said he got the Glock and the Draco for Canelo and that he was going to knock him out in the sixth round. I'm about to roll the clip. Roll the clip. If he open up, if he try to open up on some shit, with them ass hooks that he be throwing or those sneaky uppercuts or try to go to anything, he, I'm going to counter him. I'm going to counter him bad. And he gonna get, he gonna be into for some crazy. He, he not, he don't know, he don't, he think I don't punch that hard. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he said, oh, I, okay, I know, I know, I know the difference with me. I know you could punch. So I'm, huh, I'm buying, I'm buying down on my, I know you could punch. I know you could punch. I know you got the, I know you got a, a little ham on you. You probably got a little, little nine on you. It's cool. I got the Draco and the Glock right here for you. So, so him, he thinks. He's 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 overlooking. That's what you get what I'm saying. Like he's overlooking the situation. I didn't knock 16 cab drivers out like who he fought in in, in in Mexico. You know what I'm saying? I fought guys that was going a distance with champions, and I was still knocking them out in the first round. You got it's As you just heard what Edgar Belanga said, that he's going to knock Canelo out in the sixth round. And I guess he's thinking in his mind Canelo Alvarez is overlooking, underestimating, and taking him lightly. Now, this is something that we're going to be talking about. One, two. One, two, one, two. Oh, Y'all stay tuned. So... I think Edgar is taking this fight a little personal. I think he's going into this fight a little too emotional. And this is going to be his first big test, first big fight, first big payday, his first big loss. I think, in my opinion, it's going to come because the way he's going about the whole situation yeah, it's a combat sport. Yeah, it's, it's wartime. Yeah, it's game time. Yeah, I mean, you ain't supposed to show your opponent, in the words of Canelo Alvarez, no compassion. But at the same time, you got to show some kind of respect. I think he may be overlooking Canelo Alvarez or taking Canelo a little bit too lightly thinking Canelo can't do what he normally does to his opponents is you know get him up out of there and you look at Canelo last opponents in the words of Canelo he don't like fighting against other Mexicans and which was Jaime Mugia he didn't really he carried Jaime Mugia we're just gonna be honest Jaime Mugia he came out letting his hands go he did some great things um he had Canelo just, you know, with his hands, you know, basically wasn't letting his hands go. What Canelo did was just drug him into deep waters and then drown him. But I think in this fight against Edgar Belenga, being that Edgar Belenga has been saying a lot of stuff about Canelo, this, that, and the third, saying what he's going to do, he's going to knock him out. He got the Glock, he got the Draco, he got this and he got that. And he's going to break Canelo's face, he's going to break his nose. And I don't think he should, you know, ruffle the feathers of Canelo because he going to make Canelo go into the tool bag and hit everything. He going to hit Edgar Belenga with everything in the tool bag. So Edgar Belenga just got to be prepared mentally, physically, spiritually, and be, be prepared for everything that Canelo is going to bring September 14th that Saturday night because it's no joke Canelo is not coming to play ain't not coming to lay down they say it's gonna be war I think Edgar Belenga gonna come in and try to dominate and realize that it's not gonna be that easy to hit him because Canelo he's been in there with some top opponents you know Floyd Billy Joe Saunders Laura Trout Kodo, um, Jaime Mugia, Dimitri Bivol, 
Danny Jacobs, uh, a whole lot of other fighters that he the Sugar Shane Mosley. Come on, Canelo got the experience, he got the ring IQ, he got the skills. And they touched they both touched up on, you know, ring IQ and skills. Yeah, that's gonna pay that's gonna pay dividends in the fight. But I think Canelo holds the edge when it comes to, you know, ring IQ. And we know Canelo got skills. We just haven't seen Erga Belenga get battle tested yet. And we seen Canelo get battle tested. We seen um Canelo get hit with great shots, didn't fall. We seen Edgar Belenga get hit with a great shot and fail. So we see him touch the canvas. I just hope that he ain't writing a check that is can't cash. Or he putting himself in some that he can't get out of. Cause once you in the then you gonna be the sh and hopefully. He can come in and do what he said he going to do. And both fighters come out of the ring, leaving the same way that they came into the ring September 14th. But he just had a whole lot to say about Canelo Alvarez. And I think that's an extensive one. And I don't think that's going to ever, you know, uh, uh, stop until uh, after the fight. However, the, the long the fight lasts. Is it going to be some knockdowns in this fight? I think so. It could be a, some body shots. It could be a head shot. Um, and we do know Canelo like throwing body shots. So I think. I think. Edgar Belenga is. I don't think he's going to be ready for the counter puncher. That Canelo does. And how quick Canelo going to be. Will he land some shots on Canelo? Of course. Canelo let him. Canelo going to let him do that. He going to let him tire himself out. He gonna let him drag him and you know make him feel like he winning, but he gotta be prepared to take it. If you dish it, you gotta be prepared to take it, and that's the thing. Let's see if he can take it. If he can't take it, then Canelo gonna get him up out of there. It's Mexico, it's Mexico against Puerto Rico, September fourteenth. Now, um, we seen Caleb Plant. Get into it with Edgar Belanga. They got a they got a beef with each other. I would love to see that fight next too. I would love to see Edgar Belanga and David Benavidez next after that Canelo uh, fight. That's if he don't get dominated early. Then they might not even want to fight him. Of course they gonna clown him all on social media. But I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. You know about Edgar Belanger saying what he gonna do to Canelo Alvarez, and if y'all want to check out the full interview, I'm gonna have a link in my uh, in my description with uh, Fight Hub TV with Marcos Viegas, and y'all can check out the full video. All right, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace.